think Barmore's a really happy school because we're a learning community. We invest heavily in the students, the staff, the parents, the governors. And part of, part of that is that we work with praise and recognition, so we celebrate everything that's good about the school. We're very passionate about what we do, but we also underpin that with challenge and support. because the community, staff, students and everyone involved make it a happy school. There's lots of staff around, there's lots of support for staff and for students. We work together in order to create a happy school and a happy environment. People come in and they recognise that, they recognise it straight away. There's something that feels different about Barnwell. It's very welcoming, warm and people feel involved. I think what makes this school a positive place is really the commitment of the staff. Um, I believe very much that a successful school is one where, if you like, it's like four legs of a chair. You've got the staff, you've got the students, you've got the parents and you've got the governors and the wider community. And like any chair, you need all four legs to be sound. Uh, and I think the one that's the most important, the one where you can have most influence on, is actually the staff because if you get them mobilised and you get them involved, then I think the other three are strengthened by the fact that the staff are so committed. Yeah, I think it's a happy school because um, everybody like knows each other, everybody's friendly here, and the teachers, they're all nice here and they're all supportive to you. I think it, it makes it happy from a teacher's perspective because you know where you can go for support if you need it. When you're a new teacher, sometimes there's times where you, you need that extra bit of support but they also want to help you and develop you. How do we challenge people to be even better? But what's the support that we're going to give them that enables them to be even better? Working in teams, collaborating in teams, and therefore you get this um, very healthy, very um, happy element to a fun school. It's a very safe environment and you can trust anyone around you, even, like, even people above you in sixth form or anything. You can trust everyone. It's like all the atmosphere of the school and the way everybody's like friends with each other and there's no real dilemmas like Laura said. In science we usually do practical lessons, same with like art and um, tech and things like that. We're watching a movie about the one child policy in China and we're going to watch it one time and then on the second time we're going to take notes from it, like from the information from the movie. And then on the third time, we're going to um, try to evaluate what the movie does and doesn't tell us. And then hopefully it will help our understanding of the one-child policy in China. And the reason we're doing this is they can actually work at their own speed. So it's a way of personalising learning for them. We could watch it as a class, but we'd all be going at one speed. Individual iPods means everyone can work at their own pace. And if we get chance towards the end, I'm actually going to ask them to evaluate the movie and suggest where they could maybe add other information. Well, with the iPods, you can do uh, you can do a whole range of stuff to help you learn. You can make games or like quizzes for yourself, and you, so you can answer questions on what you've learned. Um, you can make movies as well about what you've learned, and you can also presentations you can put on there for pictures. And you can revise later and you can make notes on them use a whole range of technologies. Um, school email is very important. I encourage students to actually email work to me. I encourage them to actually email me if they have any problems because sometimes it's just getting started. Um, it, it stops them from actually doing a piece of work. So having my email, having me available is important to them. I also run two blogs. I've got one for my year 11 class and one for my year 10 class and I've designed and run those specifically for those classes so they're very personal to those groups of students. I also put um, information on there to help with their iPod, so different links to different sites, how to make movies, uh, different resources, advertisements as well if you like for what's coming up next week. I prefer learning like this because you don't have to do writing and things like that and um, you can learn at home and like, when you're on the bus and things like that. I also think it's really important to get the, my Year 11 in the computer room as often as possible and I've actually managed to book them in for every single Monday right up until they leave. So we've got a programme of study which carries right the way through. So I've, I've really integrated ICT into their revision programme.
Jude School won a competition amongst all the schools in England uh, for the happiest school. And that's why we're here today. What if I said to you that what's in that envelope are things that might make you happy? That would be good, that would be interesting. You'd want to open the envelope then, wouldn't you? But you're not allowed to open the envelope. Okay, so here are some things that might make me happy. Playing with a pet. Yeah, some people. Doing a sport. Yes. Thinking quietly. Hanging out with my mates. Hearing the rain outside, knowing that I'm inside. Now, I've got something I want you to do with your cards. When you get them, I want you to lay them out in front of you. And then I want you to take your time and just read them through. So now you can open your envelopes. That make you happiest at the top. <laughs> Favourite was? Being warm in bed. That's excellent. Favourite was? Eating an ice cream. Favourite was? Hanging out with my friends. Hanging out with my friends. What have you noticed about these? Anything anyone's noticed? They're all different. Very good. Very good. Here's the game. We're going to take our time with it because it's an important game and we're allowed five swaps. And in order to get the best possible things that make you happy, you can swap one at a time for one of someone else's. Okay? Now, in order to do this, we're going to take a bit of a risk. That means we're going to get up and walk around a little bit and talk to other people, find out what they've got, and then if they agree, we can swap. <laughs> Are you keeping your I want to make someone smile? Or do you want to swap it for playing with a pet? There you go. Thanks. And there's lots of support and people uh, helping you a lot. And they don't it's not very pushy, they don't force you to do things, so you choose to do a lot. And I think a school needs to have memorable moments. Those memorable moments then create a sense of enjoyment and purpose in the school. And yes, when they go back to the core task, and when they go back to the doing their maths homework and those sorts of things, if the children feel settled and they've had that sense of enjoyment and fun in school, I think they settle much more to those sorts of things. And I think that's an important part of the philosophy of a school. My recipe for a happy school, um, lots of creativity um, and a very supportive environment. I'd say this school is very good because the teacher's support is, is really good um, and teachers try to help you the best they can. Um, people usually get on in the school and I mean people don't argue a lot, it, we all quite get on. I'd say that it's a really fantastic place to work, there's, there's a huge support network amongst the staff, students respect the teachers and there's a joint mutual respect there, um, there's lots of development opportunities, there's lots of social aspects within the school, I think staff appreciate the effort that other staff members put in and we work really well together to provide a great learning and teaching opportunity for all. So there's a great feeling in the school that, that this school is moving somewhere. We're not, we're not just happy to be as we are. We want to look beyond the here and now and drive ourselves forward.